Hi, my friends. Uh, so now we are on to our math lesson. And you see me wearing my beautiful rabbit ears because this weekend is Easter holiday. So some of you might be doing some fun activities. Maybe you've already done some of those activities like coloring eggs, making and decorating cookies. And maybe this weekend you're gonna hunt for some eggs, maybe in your home or in your backyard or around your home. But either way, I hope you all have a great Easter and I hope you stay safe and healthy. So today, is Thursday, thir thir Thursday, April 9th, 2020, and we are moving on in our math shapes lesson. Uh, right now, the first thing I have pulled up is a 2D and 3D shape sort. So how do we describe 2D shapes again? Do you remember? You can only see one side to a 2D shape. And what about a 3D shape? You can see more than one side. All right, let's check this shape sorting game out. And the link to this game will be in the description of this YouTube video. And here we go, let's see what's going on here. Two dimensional shapes are flat, like a square. Three-dimensional shapes are solid, like a cube. Can you spot the difference and sort the 2D and 3D shapes? Muggo needs to clean up and sort his shapes. Put all of the two-dimensional shapes in this box. Put all of the three-dimensional shapes in this box. Hit the Done button when you're finished. All right, so we need to sort these shapes, classify and categorize, we need to classify and categorize them by if they're 2D, if they're flat and we can only see one side, or if they're 3D, where they're solid and we can see more than one side. Okay, let's look at this first one. Hmm, I see one, two sides. So that's more than one. So I'm gonna say that's a 3D shape. So I'm gonna drag that one right on over there. All right, this next one. You know what shape that is. What shape is that? That's a triangle. And can we only see one side? Is it flat and we can only see one side? Right, so that is a 2D shape. Move that right over there in that box. All right, here's the shape. Do you remember what the name of this shape is? That's a cube and we can see more than one side. I see one, two, three. So is this a 2D? or 3D shape, 3D, because I can see more than one side. So I'm gonna put that one right on over here. All right, our next shape, we have two short sides and two long sides. What shape is that? A rectangle. So is this a 2D shape? shape? Can we see more than one side or is this a 3D shape? Hmm, 2D, good job. I'm gonna move that right over here to this box. All right, we've got this blue shape here. Do you remember what the name of that shape is? That is a cylinder, cylinder, kind of like a can or a can of pop or a can of soup. That's a cylinder. And I see one, two sides. So I can see more than one side. So is that 2D or 3D? 3D. I'm gonna move it over here to our 3D box. All right, our next shape here goes round and round and round and round. What shape is that? Circle. Is that a 2D shape or a 3D shape? 2D. It's a flat shape. We can only see one side to this shape. So let's move that to our 2D box. All right, the next shape. Oh, I see one, two, three four sides here. Do you remember what vertices mean? Vertice is the corners. It's where the corners meet. It's the angles. How many vertices are on this square here? I see one, two, three, four. So if you said you saw four, then you are correct. All right, but is this shape 2D flat 
Or Put is it all a 3D? of the two-dimensional shapes in this box. <laughs> or is Put it all a... of the three-dimensional shapes in this box. Hit the <laughs> done button when you're finished. We're doing it, Ugo. Just wait. Or is it a 3D shape? It's a flat yeah. 2D shape. Let's move that square over here. Ugo's rushing us. All right, we have this shape here. That's one of the shapes we learned about earlier in our topic 12. That's a hexagon. It has one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is actually what our lesson is on today is hexagons. Lucas is over here laughing because Ugo is rushing us. Is this a 2D shape or a 3D shape? We can only see one side to this shape. So this one is 2D. Move that right in that box there. And then our last shape here. How many sides do you see on that shape? I see one, two, three. So that's more than one. So is this a flat shape or a solid shape? Is it 2D or is it 3D? 3D. I'm going to move that right over here. So in our 2D box, we have a hexagon, we have a circle, a square, a triangle, and a rectangle. One, two, three, four, five shapes. And here in our 3D box, we have a cube. This one that kind of looks like a triangle, that's called a pyramid. Pyramid. And then we have our cylinder cylinder and then we have our rectangular prism put all of the two-dimensional shapes in Uh-oh, this box we're doing that. Oh, put my all goodness. of the three-dimensional shapes in this box all Hit right we're the done. done button when you're finished are we done are we gonna click the done okay here we go done that's right which box has less oh now they're asking another, which one has less or a smaller number one has more and a bigger number, and one has less with the smaller number. Which one is less? This one? The 2D shapes? No, yes, it's the 3D shapes. I guess I'm going to click on that box. Correct. Yes. Four is less than five. Oh, he's using a little alligator mouth. You see the alligator mouth like we learned in class? Chomp, chomp. Remember you are a master. Ah. Remember the alligator always chomps the bigger number, the greater number. And it says you are a master. Air high five. We made it. Three stars. Okay, let's go to our lesson now. So we're going to be working on the shape hexagons. But we before we get into our workbook, yep, I'm going to play our robot video. So listening skills on. Mouths are closed, eyes are open, ears are listening. A shape called a hexagon was traced here. How many sides does a hexagon have? So we learned that a hexagon has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. A hexagon has six sides. How many vertices does a hexagon have? Do you remember what the vertices were? Vertices are the corners or where the sides meet and they make an angle. So. How many vertices do you see on this hexagon here? How many corners do you see? I see one, two, three, four, five, six. I see six. Is that what you see? Let's check it out. A hexagon has six vertices. What do you see? There is a honeycomb. What shape is traced in the honeycomb? What shape are they asking are all of these honeycomb shapes? What shape is that? Hexagon. Hexagon. Look at that cute little happy bee. 
He doesn't have a stinger on his behind, does he? He's a happy bee. All right, here we go. A hexagon is traced in the honeycomb. It has six sides and six vertices. What do you see? There is a window. What shape is the window? How do you know? What shape is that window? It's the shape we're talking about in today's lesson. That's a what? Hexagon. And they're asking us, how do we know it's a hexagon? It would be because of how many sides it has. We know a hexagon has six sides. So if we counted the sides on this shape, one, two, three, four, five, six, has six sides, and we know that a hexagon has six sides. So we're gonna guess that it's a hexagon. It is a hexagon. The window has six sides and six vertices. What do you see? There is a nut. What shape is the nut? So what shape is this nut right here? Again, we can count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what shape has six sides? Hexagon. Hexagon. But what's this shape right here in the center of this hexagon? It goes around and around and around and around. What shape is that? A circle. So we actually have two shapes in one. We have the hexagon for the outside. And then on the inside of this nut is what shape? A circle. The nut is a hexagon. It has six sides and six vertices. Now you know how to identify hexagons. All right, great job. Let's move on to our notebook. So here we have our little friend Emily looking at all of her shapes and thinking about them and pondering about them. Do you see some hexagons in this picture here? I see this shape. What shape is that? A circle goes around and round and round and round. And what else do we see? Oh, I see this shape here. What shape is that? That's a rectangle. It has a short side, a short side, long side, long side. Hmm, what shape is this? That's a hexagon and it has its six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. And actually, what are all of these right here hanging off of this mobile? They call that a mobile because it swings and it hangs down and you can hang it. A lot of times you see these over baby cribs. But what are those other shapes? Those are more hexagons. They're just different colors. Hmm, do we see any other hexagons in this illustration here? What about this? What is that? That is also a hexagon. Six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lucas is helping me count. And there are also six vertices. Remember, the vertices are the corners. It's where the sides meet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six sides and six vertices on the hexagon. What shape is this? What is that? That's a rectangle. We have a short side another short side, and then we have a long side and a long side. Mm, what is this shape right here? Can you see that right there? It's like orange and red. That's actually a planet, which I think it's supposed to be Saturn. But can you tell what shape that planet is? 
That's a circle. That is a circle. Good job. Do we see any other hexagons? Looking, looking, looking. I spy with my little eye. What about here? Are these hexagons? Yes, they are. Again, hexagon, six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides and six vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome job finding our hexagons. And we even found some other different shapes. Turning the page. All right, so it looks like they want us to recognize the hexagons in all, with all of these other shapes. So let's see if we can figure out which one's a hexagon. I'm going to ask you to use your pointer. You can use any pointer you like this time. I know we used our pinky last time, but why don't you pick whichever pointer you want to use? And I want you to look at all of these shapes here and find a hexagon. Where's the hexagon? A hexagon has how many sides? Six. So you're looking for a shape with six sides. Where is the hexagon? Hmm. Are you pointing to this one? Right. No, we're not pointing to this one. This is a what shape? Circle. Hmm. Are you pointing to this one? No? Are you sure? Why not? That shape is what? That is a triangle. Good. Okay. Are you pointing to this shape? I hope you are because that is a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, Six sides. Are there any other hexagons here? What about this one? This has got to be a hexagon, right? No? Are you sure? Oh, because there's not six sides, right? There's four sides. Two shorts and two longs. So what shape is this one? That is a rectangle. Are you sure? Are there any more hexagons on this page right here? Hmm, what about right here? Are you pointing to that one? I hope so, because that is a hexagon. And if you are, pat yourself on the back. Say, I'm so awesome. I know my hexagons. And hexagons have how many sides? Six. Hexagons have six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one two, three, four, five, six. Awesome job. Turning a page. Lucas said awesome job too. You can't hear him because he's whispering. No. <laughs> All right. We've got some more objects to look at and shapes. Oh, some of these were on some of our other pages. You guys remember these two? I remember these two because I think this is like a party plate and this is like a party napkin. But we want to see if we can recognize the hexagons. All right, so look at number three, the fishy. And using that pointer, point to the uh, triangle. Oh, you thought I was going to say hexagon. I said triangle. Point to the triangle. Where is the triangle? Is this a triangle? Nope. Yep, you're right. That's a star. Are you pointing to this one? If you are, you are correct. A triangle has how many sides? Three sides. How many seat, How many vertices does a triangle have? That also has three. One, two, and three. All right. Now I want you to point to the hexagon. Where is the hexagon for number three, the fishy? Where is it at? Is it here? No? Are you sure? Are you positive? Are you absolutely positively sure? You are correct. What shape is this? This is a square. It has four sides and they're all the same 
size. Is your little pointer pointing the, the shape here? Then you are correct. That is your hexagon with its six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's go on down to this number five with the hand. Looking at all of these objects, we have that party napkin, party plate, a purse, and I think this is a button. Use your little pointer and point to the circle. Find the circle. Put that pointer to work and find me the circle. Are you pointing to this one? I hope not, because that is not a circle. What is that? That is a triangle. All right. Are you pointing to this one? No? What about this one? Yes? Yes, you are correct. That's our circle. Goes around and round and round and round. All right. Now point to the hexagon. Where is that 